Hi everyone, welcome to Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. I'm Tammy and I am just so happy to have a chance to uh, come on and have a minute to speak with everyone. I have been in bed for probably the last week and a half and I had dental surgery so I haven't been doing much talking or much of anything else. Um, it wasn't very pleasant and um, I am so thankful to everybody that has been sending me messages and um, just messages and cards and well wishes of um, prayers for me to get better and thank you thank you so much and I'm just feeling like I'm starting to get my uh, feeling like I'm uh, getting back to normal so <coughs> things are looking good so I wanted to uh, come on and first of all because this is my first video I know it is like the 14th today but it's like my first video in the new year of 2022 happy new year i know exciting with uh the ceo up there this is the first video of 2022 and um while i have been um kind of off um uh, not doing any videos or not seeing anybody on youtube I have been actually seeing a lot of a lot of people. I've been watching a lot of videos and leaving comments and stuff like that in and out of my days. Um, but I have not been able to do any videos. I have uh, received some mail, Christmas cards and stuff like that. So I thought I would come on and share those with you. So one of the beautiful cards that I received was from my precious friend, Denise Becker. And I'm sure a lot of people um, know Denise Becker. She is an absolute doll. She sent me this beautiful uh, Christmas card here. It is just precious. She is an expert, expert card maker. Um, she does beautiful work. And um, her and I have um, both love, love stamping up. And she is very much into stamping up as well as I am. And I have been using it for um, many years. I, I well, uh, Denise is a stamping up demonstrator. I am not. However, um, I do go to a class once a month and, um, purchase stamping up products so so she made me this beautiful card Merry Christmas to you and she, you see she has this beautiful ornaments hanging down here with the gorgeous designer paper and it has dearest friend wishing you and your family a holly jolly Christmas and a very happy and helpful healthy peaceful New Year. Love, Denise. So beautiful. And um, she is it's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Denise. You're an absolute doll and I adore you. And I will be coming on and doing another uh, video for Denise because Denise has a challenge uh, coming up. So I will be doing a VR for uh, Denise. So I'll be telling you more about that in another video. So I have um, an, another card, and this is from a wonderful subscriber, Cindy Noel. And, oh, and Denise is from Florida, by the way. Cindy is from New York. And um, Cindy is been, has been one of my subscribers for a very, very long time. And I just love what she put on the back here. God bless our postal workers. And um, yeah, they're working very hard right now. 
and have been over the Christmas season. I just love that little uh, ornament that she has on the back. And it says, Merry Christmas on the front. Look at this beautiful card with the trees. She has the beautiful designer paper on the back with another piece layered and then Merry Christmas. Beautiful. I love that. Very, very elegant. She has it written on the back, handmade by Cindy Ann. Tammy, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, hugs, and blessings. Thank you so much, Cindy. It is absolutely beautiful. And even though um, it's past Christmas, I just didn't want to open these um, without showing everybody online. So they're still just as special to me as if I opened them at Christmas time. So this one here is from Helen Green. She's, she's in Mississauga, Ontario. And this is Cosmo's Mum, I believe. Cosmo's Crafty Mum. She's in Canada, the same as I am. Excuse me. Oh my, oh my gosh. Precious, precious, precious. It, just because something fell out here, I see me. So she did this gorgeous card. Look at this beautiful card with the gold at the bottom and this beautiful circle with this designer paper background and the gold at the top. And then she um, did a, I guess, a die cut of joy there in the middle. I love that. Hi, dear Tammy, thank you so much for entering Con Cosmo's fifth birthday challenge. We really appreciate it and loved your entry. Enclosed is a thank you gift from Cosmo. Oh, pause up. Oh, and everybody knows how much I love dogs, but I love Cosmo. He is just precious. And I'll show you his picture because she sent me a picture. Dear Tammy and family, wishing you a wonderful holiday season and all the best for 2022. Your friends, Helen and Cosmo. So, oh, I love it, Helen. Thank you so much. And look at this gorgeous Christmas card from the one and only Cosmo with his beautiful little scarf and hat on by the tree. Isn't he precious? He is just adorable. And Cosmo also sent me this gorgeous ornament, which I will put on my tree because he is just the most precious little poonsie. And on the back, it has the little paw prints. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Thank you so much, Helen and Cosmo. That is gorgeous. And I just love his little face. I could just kiss him. Thank you so, so much. This um, next card is from Barbara Owen. And I love the little stickers that she put on the back there. And Barbara is from Oakboro, North Carolina. And of course, I know some other people from North Carolina, Miss Sheila and Miss Crystal from I'm Busy Crafting. And this is a gorgeous card. It says, from the star that guided wise men to the manger filled with hay, from the angel singing praises to the stable where he lay, from the love that he has no ending to the hope he came to bring, we rejoice in our sweet Savior, now raised upon to be our King. Look at this gorgeous card. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, thank you so much. So beautiful. Every gift in Jesus be yours in abundance at Christmas and all through the year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Blessings to you. 
Tammy and Jason. Hope you both are doing well. Just a note to let you know that I have not forgotten you. Be blessed in all you do. I love you so much. I love Barbara Owen. Sheila, that's Sheila's mom. Thank you so much. That is precious and I love it. And um, Sheila's mother, Barbara, is an absolute doll. Um, Sheila posted a video of her mom um, New Year's Day and it was actually precious. Her mother is just, she's just a doll. She's so, so cute. So thank you so much, Barbara. This one is from Suzette. And Suzette Singston, and she's in Largo, Florida. This little tree sticker, isn't that cute? Another gorgeous card. Look at this beautiful card. Merry Christmas. May your Christmas be blessed with peace and joy. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, Suzette. Thank you so much, Suzette. And that is Suzette from... Um, Oh my goodness, give me one second. Oh my gosh, it's right there. See, I'm still like um, foggy in my head. Of course I know her channel name. I just was emailing her. Um, Crafty Sue 519 is her name, um, Miss Suzette. Thank you so much, sweetheart, for your beautiful card. It, it comes to me, it, it, it comes to me. It might take me a minute to figure it out, but it's up there, it's just a brain fog. Um, so this next card is from Debbie Brown in Coca, Florida. And look at the little tree that she drew on there, isn't that precious? Sorry, I didn't mean to show her address. The little tree there and the stickers on the back. So cute. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at this card. It says, hope you haven't been naughty. And it's got a cat on there and it says, I, I knocked over a Christmas tree. <laughs> that is adorable. And her channel is This and That by uh, Debbie Jean. Or Debbie Jean's This and That. Um, and she says, nope, Santa says you're on the list. And of course, that is a joke about me being on the list for the firefighters. I got it, Debbie. You're precious. Merry Christmas, love and hugs, Debbie. She is so sweet. And there's a Santa on the inside, and I love how she wrote it with a silver pen. But this reminds me of her cat, Pippa. And um, she's actually so precious. And she sent me a magnet. Oh my gosh, Mario and Santa as Pippa and look at look at Pippa she dressed up as this for um a Halloween challenge or what no I can't remember if it was a Halloween I think it was a Halloween challenge and this is so precious look at look at Pippa she she's not impressed but she is just precious 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 and Debbie is just always so sweet and always just ready to help me out with challenges and everything. And I just love you for that, Debbie. You're always a great friend. Thank you so much. 
And I'm going to put that in my room here and I'll be able to see you and Pippa all the time. I just love Pippa's face. She's so precious. She got the little beard and the hat on. And um, this last one comes from So Mint. Um, I believe this is from. Let's see here, Ashley from Paper and Twine. a little note. Um, dear Tammy, please excuse my impersonal round robin type letter. I'm writing uh, quite a few people in touch, but I assure you my words are hurt. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and thank you so much for supporting my little YouTube channel since I started. Um, you may have only watched a couple of my videos. No, actually, actually, I watch you a lot, Ashley. But I really appreciate the support that you have shown me by either leaving a comment or entering my challenge, which I launched in April. I hope you like the little card I've made for you. You probably won't get it until the new year, the way our postal service is working at the moment. But better late than never. Enjoy the tea on Tea Tuesday. I hope you participate more in the new year. Since I won Card Maker of the Year, which was fantastic. She won that uh, over in the UK, uh, Card Maker of the Year. She's a fantastic card maker and she's a fantastic crafter. Life has been very hectic, but I'm loving being a semi-professional crafter and the thrill seeing my designs in craft publications, such as craft Creative stamping and paper craft essentials hasn't worn off yet. Congratulations to you, Ashley. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to be hosting a new exciting giveaway challenge in January, so I hope you will keep an eye open for that and consider joining in. I certainly will. And I look forward to our continued YouTube crafting friendship. Best wishes for a happy and healthy 2022. Ashley paper and twine. Thank you so much, Ashley. This is absolutely precious. And she sent me this little card, which is adorable. Look at this little precious card with tea inside. And the tea is spearmint, peppermint, spearmint, and field mint. Organic tea. Delicious. And it smells delicious. Thank you so much. And then there's a little envelope. Isn't that sweet? Okay, and look at this little precious card. And it says, Oh Christmas tree. Look at the little tree. Isn't that sweet? Dear Tammy, wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas. Best wishes, Ashley, Paper and Twine. And she has her little stamp handmade for you by Paper and Twine. She has beautiful writing, handwriting. I love her writing. Thank you so much, Ashley. And thank you, everybody else, for your wonderful, wonderful cards. And um, I'm sorry that I am late in showing them on my channel, but... I didn't want to just open them and not, you know, show them on my channel. Um, I wanted to actually wait till I could um, just share them with everybody. And um, being under the weather and having dental surgery and stuff, I just, I just had to wait. So, a couple of other things I wanted to share. Um, my son is moving home possibly by the end of January, the first part of February. So I'm excited about that. And um, he put an offer in on the house. So we're just waiting to hear about that, if everything is good with that. And I mentioned that I had dental surgery and... 
I have a funny story. Of course I had to have a funny story. So anybody that watches my channel knows I'm obsessed with firefighters. And I went to the have the surgery done and it just so happened that the surgeon is gorgeous. Lucky me. And um I had to I was sedated for the surgery so um, I went in and they were prepping me and they hooked me up to like an IV and I was getting pretty loopy and stuff like that and then all of a sudden the um, I'm kind of in and out of it and then the uh, surgeon comes in to start the surgery and I don't remember this but apparently I found out after the surgery that I uh, told this uh, beautiful dentist that he would look uh, wonderful if he um, took off his dentist attire and wore firefighter pants and boots instead of what he was wearing and performed my dental surgery that way. <laughs> And um, apparently all the girls, uh, like the dental assistants and everything, um, roared over that, including the surgeon. And they told me this afterwards, which I was totally embarrassed. But the funny thing was, a few days after I had the surgery, I was not feeling well. And I was quite sore all around my jaw and everything. And really sore to the touch. I actually felt like I wasn't had been in a car accident like I was really sore didn't feel right so I went back in to see him and it turned out I had an infection and when he came in the room of course he remembered me and what I had said but my husband was there and he had a grin from ear to ear of course because he remembered what I said and I knew now what I had said to him. So I had a grin from ear to ear, but he didn't let on in front of my husband that I knew what I had said. So it was quite funny. Anyways, it just goes to show you that I can't even be, you know, left alone with the dentist. <laughs> Speaking of firefighters, I thought I would show you one of my Christmas presents. So this just so happens to be something that my husband purchased for me for Christmas. So I thought I would give my favorite YouTube subscribers a little surprise taste of something that my husband had got for me as a treat. So this is a calendar um, that I had got for my, for Christmas. And actually, I better uh, do something first because there's actually, actually, just wait one sec. Give me one moment. I have to fix one thing. me this for Christmas. Just have to cover something up there. <laughs> so I'll just uh, quickly go through the pages. So this is just the general page. Uh, this, oops, I missed January. I'm getting flustered. January uh, is showing a little bit of tushy there, so I covered that up just in case YouTube doesn't allow that on channel. 
and this is February. Looking pretty good there. March happens to be my favorite. This actually would have been a fantastic attire for the dentist. His name was Marco, by the way. He was Italian. And um, this would look fantastic on him. This is April. This one is May. Which is, would not be a bad birthday present. June. This one's July. Get the pages so new. This one is August. Obviously, he's carrying me out of the building. <laughs> this one is September. October. Obviously she's on the list. This one is November. Pretty cute, right by the fire truck. And this one is December with his axe there. And uh, I think there was something right just on the back. And on the back, it shows you like all the different pictures. So that was my. Um, little fun little uh, one of my little gifts from my husband and um, it was very cute so I thought I would share that with everyone um, considering everybody knows how much I like firefighters and that's what I did when I opened it and I thought everyone needed a little laugh and a smile um, so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I also um, got some new glasses. Um, so I am enjoying those. I see a lot better. And um, this is one pair. I have another pair as well. Um, which I still have to go pick up. So I had um, regular lenses and I had to get progressives. So I'm getting still getting used to them. So I think that's it. I'm again so happy to gradually be feeling a little bit better. I'm, I have lots of plans um, for some new things coming up on my channel. Um, as I was off, I wrote many things down for some tutorials and ideas that I have coming up. And I hope that uh, you stay tuned and um, for everyone that has stayed with me, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I know that there's going to be lots of fun things coming up in 2022. Um, some new things, some things that people have requested. Of course, we're still going to continue with the random acts of kindness. Um, so please, if you have a random act of kindness that you've done or that you uh, are going to do. Um, I'll make a new video so you don't have to stroll down so long and we can um, put it in a new video and um, start that over because it's so important especially right now with everything with COVID and everything we can never be too kind to somebody or spread some uh, kindness out there. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a laugh, a smile, or, you know, just shared a minute with me. Um, that'd be great. I will talk to you very, very soon. God bless each and every one of you. And um, I hope I 
changed at least a minute of your day. If I did that, I did something right. Have a great night. Bye-bye.